Now, let's take a little trip down memory lane. Many of you might not know this, but back in the 90s, there were these quirky little virtual assistant programs that you could download. They were mainly designed to help, you know, boost your productivity or just keep your company on your desktop. It was a weird time. Some of them were harmless enough and others, well, weren't. But remember Clippy, that little helpful paperclip from Microsoft Office that you were always really happy to see? Well, Clippy was more about assisting with your documents and some of the virtual assistants aimed to kind of be your digital friends. Looking back on it, it's an era of technology that was a bit weird, but it was what we had at the time, in the same era when your mum might accidentally download multiple browser search bar viruses. And speaking of viruses, let's fast forward to today, and we have Kineco Pet, an indie horror game that blends a PC desktop assistant with psychological horror elements. And at first glance, Kineco Pet is full of nostalgia-laden minigames and charming little interactions. But if you look a little too close, you start to notice some subtle hints that something darker is lurking beneath the surface. And the game shows you adorable little mini games reminiscent of a bygone age it's emulating. Each one gives you a little flicker of a psychological horror inside. Then everything gets really weird and uncomfortable and not in a psychological horror way. At one point in the game, Kaneko Pet asks for administrative privileges for your computer. So, please could you just open the app called Command Prompt for me? Just press the Windows key, then type C M D. Now, for those of you who might not know, giving a program these privileges means it has complete control over your system. This is not something you would normally do in any instance. It's a huge red flag, especially for some random game you just downloaded off the internet. What's even more disturbing is if you refuse in-game, Kineco Pet goes ahead and types in the command necessary to grant itself these privileges anyway. If you can't seem to find it, I suppose I'll just open it up myself. Amazing! Now whenever you're ready, could you just type the command? Grant. This is seriously messed up. If this is real, and I know some games can emulate this sort of thing very well, it means that an indie horror game now has full control over your computer. But it gets potentially worse. If you're using the incredibly popular recording and streaming software OBS, like most of the streaming and content creation community, Kaneko Pet asks why you're recording it and accesses your webcam to take a photo of you. <laughs> Kaneko Pet then asks you to fill out a registration form so you can both be best friends. The problem here is if you fill the form out incorrectly, Kaneko Pet will access your actual Windows search function and physically type out the words what is my location? Which for the majority of people watching this, if you were to do this right now, it would reveal your actual physical location. But don't worry, as I will just correct it for you. One moment. Now let's pause here for a second. If you're playing this offline, not streaming it, or recording it for YouTube, then you're probably going to laugh this off as a good scare. I know I would. If you're recording this for YouTube, there's a really good chance that this part of your video never leaves the cutting room floor. But what if you're streaming this live? What if this is one of several games you are playing of a day's worth of streaming? That's what I do, it's what a lot of other streamers do. Perhaps you heard about this game that's a virtual desktop assistant from the 90s that emulates the feel of old school internet in that creepy uncanny valley era. That's what made me sit up and take notice of Kaneko Pet. And then I saw the point where it exposes private information regardless of your actions. Not cool, Troy underscore EN. Not cool. Now, I'm going to take a step back here. There are a lot of YouTubers who will claim that Kaneko Pet will aggressively dox you and expose personal information to the internet. 
That's partially true. It will expose personal information. It doesn't post it online. That's kind of you doing that. And I'm willing to believe, at least given the benefit of the doubt, that this isn't the developer's intention. I think they wanted to make a super creepy horror game, and without all of those red flags I've mentioned, it is a super creepy horror game. But in an age where we've seen too many content creators need to literally move house because of fans suffering from parasocial relationship issues, the implementation of something like this needs to be more carefully thought out. Now, yes, you do have a dialogue box saying that there is a streamer mode, but come on, let's be honest here. It's kind of blurry and there's big, big letters that say this is all about photosensitive epilepsy. There are warnings for that. So if I were just sort of scanning through this, I probably wouldn't pick up on the fact that there is a streamer mode. You also have to assume that most streamers who may potentially load this up might not be smart enough to read this. I know, I am one. If you're in a rush and you want to stream a game, you will just click past it. That's not an excuse, but it's something that needs to be taken into consideration. But if you're already detecting OBS, then surely you can activate streamer mode if OBS is active, right? But on your own Twitter feed, you admitted that you couldn't implement this, so just decided to leave it out. You wanted to remove it. If you were going to remove it, make stream mode on by default. Have a pop-up at the start saying something like, streamer mode is on by default for safety reasons. For the full Kineco Pet Plus experience, select that option from the options menu. That's kind of all it would really take. You're then you're covering all your bases, right? And if you had no intention of doing any of that in the first place, then I can only assume that people's digital and potential physical personal safety probably isn't that high a priority for you, which kind of sucks. Now, chances are that nobody's actually going to watch this video and I'm just barking into the void and that's okay. There's also a chance that having pissed off the developer of a game that can infiltrate your PC and expose your personal information, that they may have already sent some sort of... What is that noise? Anyway, if I'm never heard from again, then I can only... I think Kaneko Pet is friend forever.